Hello friends. I have a fun little project to share with you today um, for Christmas in July. <laughs> I just thought this would be a fun little idea to use to give to co-workers, family, stocking stuffers, and things that you can make ahead and have ready in advance for the Christmas season because it's coming quicker than we think. So it's just good to have some little gifts, last minute gifts or stocking stuffers pre prepared in advance to have them ready for when our lives get so busy during the month of December. So this idea is not my original idea. This idea came from Amber at Lyric Lovers Craft. She has an amazing channel with so many fun cra uh, paper craft projects. And so she's my what made me want to do this and i have made quite a few of these it's just a fun little gift to give and you're using your stash up at the same time so this is kind of a stash buster project as well so it just she does amber does hers for mainly for craft fair she has a lot of craft fair ideas and um well i'm not interested in doing craft fairs at this time maybe someday i will but I just love her ideas because they're great for little gifts to give and um, I've been really mindful lately of wanting to use what I have and be able to give gifts to people and little things that are actually useful and practical and things that people want and since I work at a school you never have enough notepads <laughs> never like they disappear and I just thought this would just fun and plus with the cute little pin to go with it so and I will package those up. Let me show you. I have these little four by six clear bags. And so you could just place them in here and they're resellable. You place the little notepad in here with the pin. And then just close that. And you could use you could use like a little sticker or something to put on the back of that and it's just a nice little presentation to to present someone so I just think this is so, so adorable it's move that out of the way so these are the sticky notes that I'm using and right now all the colors that I've seen at Dollar Tree they're now a dollar 25 <laughs> but all the colors that I see are like the mint green the pink there's yellow but I don't see a lot of like you know, more Christmassy colors. So I went with this Coco Vanilla Studio that has a lot of these pastel-y kind of colors in them, which this is like one of my favorite Christmas lines ever. So I'm okay with that. And I have a ton of it. So this just got me to where I could use some of that. And like I said, this is a kind of a scrap buster project. So let's make one. Let me stop rambling on and actually show you how to make these. They're so easy to make. The first thing you're going to do, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to move my big old Bertha cutter over here. <laughs> and you're going to cut your paper at nine and five eighths, or I'm sorry, five and one eighth. I'll put all these measurements down in the description box below. So this is for your cover. So the, your first cut is going to be at five and one eighths. And then your second cut, you're going to turn it over and you're going to um, cut it at nine and five eighths. I'm still learning this trimmer. <laughs> and so this is your cover and you're going to make a couple of more cuts. You're going to cut like this little scrap that I just got. I'm going to use that as my backer, but I just need to trim just a little bit off. You'll see what this is for in a minute. So it's not a real precise cut. You just use that off cut and cut it down a little bit like a little bit shorter because you want it to, what this is for, you want to be able to glue that to the back. That's going to be your backing. So it just needs to fit on the back of your notepad. 
And then the last cut you're going to make is, I'm looking at my notes. Let me see. Um, I would say about one and a half. This is for your belly band. This is going to go around your book. So I'm going to go about one and a half. And then one and a half thick. And then you're going to turn it and cut it at eight and three fourths. And what this piece is for is just going to hold it closed. It's just kind of your closure piece. Okay, I'm gonna move that trimmer out of the way and put my scoreboard up here. If you do not have a scoreboard, you can still do this. You would just use your ruler and a stylus. Okay, so I'm going to put my nine and five eighths inch long part up against the scoreboard part. And I'm going to make my scores at three and one eighths. Three and one eighths, that's your first score mark. Three and three fourths, that's your second score mark. Then you're going to go over to six and seven eighths. And then lastly, you're going to go to seven and a half. Okay, and again, I will put all the score mark spots in the description box below. All right, now that you have that all scored and ready to go, you are going to just crease your score lines. You can use a bone folder. This came with my score tool or my scoreboard. And you're going to just crease those lines that you, those score marks that you made to give them a nice crisp fold like this. And this is what you end up with like this. So I want to go ahead and round my corners. This is, I'm going to use my corner chomper and I'm going to use the one fourth inch side. I just, I like the look that this, the, the way it looks better with rounded corners and straight edges. This is not, this is a personal preference. Whatever you like to do, you can leave them straight or you can round your corners. Okay, so that part is done. There is my little folio that my notepad is going to live in. So when you get one of these, you will see, let me open this one. They have this white backing. I am just gonna take this white backing off and I'm going to replace it with a little more, this will make it a little bit more sturdy. As you notice, they're not all perfect. Some of them have been squished <laughs> while they were on the shelf. And then I'm just going to use my ATG gun and add a generous amount of adhesive to the back of this. just lay it on top of the back of your notepad just like that and then we are going to carefully line this up in the center and glue it in so I'm going to lay this down put something heavy to hold it so you want to make sure it goes in between your two score marks you don't want to obstruct either one of those marks so you just have to take your time and line it up. So you're gonna add more adhesive to the back. And again, a generous amount, because you don't want this falling out on the recipient, whoever receives it. You want it to be in there nice and secure. So you just have to move it to where you can see that you're lined up the best you can. And then just lay it down. Okay, and then turn it over on the back and just burnish it. Make sure that, that everything is nice and adhered. And then turn it back over and this is, isn't that so cute? I just 
love this. So now we are going to make our belly band, which is the piece, the, the only piece you should have left. And I'm going to use the, since this is two sided paper, I'm going to use the opposite side and just kind of fit, fit it around something like that. And then you just kind of want to make sure that it is on there pretty snug, not too snug because you want to be able to slide it on and off and then crease your edges where you have already have your score marks over here. So you'll have something that looks like that. And then you want to add some more adhesive. You could use ATG, but I like to use a little bit of this liquid glue because it gives me a little more work time. If for some reason I don't get it aligned and it's a really good hole too. You don't need a ton of that glue. It a little goes a long way. And then I'm just gonna slide it off because I had it lined up and press it down and let it dry. So this is what you will have in the end. You can go ahead and firm up those, those uh, sc not score marks, but fold marks right there. And as you can see, it slides. Once you have it nice and creased, you just slide it back on. Well, here I am. I think, let me see, it might take a little finagling. There we go. And that is your notepad ready to go. And then you will just decorate the cover of it. So you could do something like that. Any of your die cuts that you have left over, maybe from layouts that you've done. I have a ton of die cuts. So if you're, here's what I suggest. If you, you see this mark, this where the two papers meet and fold, you have this little, I don't really want that to show. So I wouldn't use that in the front. I don't want it to show in the front. If I wanted to use something like this that doesn't cover that seam up, I would put it to the back and place my embellishment on there. Or either way, I just don't really want that seam to show. So I would use something like that that would cover that seam. It's not that big of a deal, but that's just how I like it. So I have so many options that I could put right there. Isn't that adorable? Just you, this is a good time to just get, this is where you get to be creative and add your own little personal touch to this. So that would be adorable. This is what takes me the longest is deciding <laughs> what I want to put there. This would be adorable. Do I like that? I kind of do like that because it brings all the colors of the stars into this one paper. So I have the teal, I have the pink, I have the red, I have the light green. And the light green is here too. So I kind of like this. I think I'm gonna go with that. Maybe. <laughs> Let me get this back on here. Well, I'll just put this on here first. But then again, so does this one. It has all the right colors. I'm gonna use this one because it's adorable. And just cover that seam up. Got a little too much glue. But there's my belly band. gonna slip it back over this it gets easier sliding the belly band over after you've done it a couple of times and you could add more to this if you wanted maybe a couple of little stars I have those uh, let's see what else I have in here that's small this yellow one's cute. And it brings in that yellow there, so. 
just a, just add little fun personal touches to it like that. And when you're all done with your decorating, you are just gonna find a pin that matches. I have a whole bunch of pins over here and probably none that match perfectly, but this one goes well. I like that together. And another one of these, these are from clear bags and they are B6 times four or four and seven sixteenths by six and one fourth quarter. And just package it up, but you can also buy the four by six resellable bags on Amazon. And I will list those because I bought both. I prefer these. I feel like these are better quality than the ones I bought on Amazon, but it's packaging. It does not have to be <laughs> perfect. So, and I'm just going to seal that up. And I have used some of my stash and have a pre-made ready to go co-worker gift stocking stuff for or whatever I would like to use it for for Christmas isn't that a fun easy project and you can make these super fast like mass produce them so and then the only thing I would add is like a little tag or something you know of course saying who it's from and you could leave a little note card in there or some sort. That is all that I have today. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial and go be sure and check out Amber's uh, channel. She has a ton of ideas for paper crafts. Have a great day and please consider giving me a thumbs up and hitting the notification bell so you know when I upload my next videos. Oh, and in order to do that, you've got to be a subscriber. So please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this stash busting Christmas in July project. Thank you. Bye.